Hello, in this video I will show you genetic results, traits and predicted appearance of two Copper Age Swedes belonging to the pitted ware culture. Let's start with the first individual who is male. Mina Shakotu predicts him to have blue eyes and in fact, out of all ancient samples I've analyzed, his eye color prediction is the lightest. There is less than 1% chance of him having brown eyes. He did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in mongoloid facial features. No pronounced cheekbones and monolids for this guy. Uh, he did not have the warrior gene and he had greater risk of cannabis associated psychosis, which is atypical for Europeans. He did not have the sociopath gene. Uh, he had an average genetic risk of Parkinson's and a very low risk of Crohn's disease, schizophrenia and bipolar. He had an incredibly ro low risk score for type 1 and 2 diabetes. Moving on to his GD match results, this is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. Notice how much Northern European drift this person had. Modern Northern Europeans are Southerners compared to him. Out of modern European ethnicities, he is closest to Southwest Finns and Estonians. Here are his results with MDLPK11 Modern. Keep in mind that the EHG category on this calculator really represents Caucasus admixture. With this calculator's oracle, he can be modeled as a mixture of Scandinavian Mesolithic and Southern European farmer. That's because this Copper Age individual actually had around 25% farmer admixture. Here is his result with Pond DNA LK12. Notice how he scores 26% Anatolian farmer. With this calculator's oracle, he can be modeled as a mixture of three quarters hunter gatherer and one quarter farmer. Here is his result with Eurogenes K36. Now, on G25, this person is closest to Finns and Balts, not because he resembled modern Finns or, B or Balts, but because modern Finns and Balts are the modern ethnicities with the most Northern European genetic drift. Uh, however, compared to this individual, modern Finns and Balts are actually still very Southern and Eastern. And here are his Mesolithic components with G25. As you can see, he had only around 20% Southern related admixture. Now I'll be looking at the second pitted wear individual. This one is also a man, but is different from the previous man in that he is less northern and has more farmer ancestry. Uh, Maina Shakot tool actually predicts him to have hazel, green or blue eyes with an amber center. According to Nashakot, the likelihood of him having brown eyes was 14% and blue eyes 1%. Uh, he was a warrior, which means he had quicker dopamine reuptake and more stress resilience. This is not a typical European genotype. Just like the previous guy, he did not have the sociopath gene. He had a typical European genotype in DRD2 and was a no-go learner with a decreased risk of schizophrenia. According to his genotype in Act 1, he had greater odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, which I guess wouldn't matter because I don't think Copper Age Scandinavians smoked weed anyway. Uh, he did not have the European lactose persistence allele and was likely intolerant to milk. He did not have the European allele that protects against myopia. He had a below average risk for Crohn's disease, above average risk for type 2 diabetes and bipolar, a low risk for schizophrenia, and an average risk of Parkinson's. Here is his result with Eurogenes K13. Looks kind of similar to the previous individual, also very high Baltic and North Atlantic. According to the Oracle, here he is closest to Southwest Finns and Estonians. And here are his results with MDLPK11. Once again, it is looking pretty similar to the previous guy, except more Neolithic. According to the Oracle, he is a mixture of Mesolithic Scandinavians with European farmers. And here is his result with Punt DNA LK10. According to the Oracle for this calculator, he is the closest to Estonians and Lithuanians, but that is only because those are the European ethnicities with the most hunter-gatherer ancestry today. Here are his results with Punt DNA LK12. Once again, the result looks similar to the previous individual. According to the oracle, he can be modeled as a mixture of three quarters hunter-gatherer and one quarter farmer. And here are his results with Gidrosia K3. Here are his results with Ancient Eurasia K6. Uh, notice how he scores 18% Natufian. Even the most northern of northern Europeans, such as Finns, scored 27% of this category. The oracle is modeling him as a mixture of Finns with Matala 12, which I find kind of ironic. The oracle is also modeling him as a mixture of Matala and Turkish, which shows that he actually had quite a lot of southern-related blood compared to Swedes of the Mesolithic. And with G25, this person scores around 30% southern or Mediterranean admixture, uh, which is similar to modern Uralics in the Komi Republic, maybe a little bit less. It's super cool that you guys have stuck around until the end of the video. You can download both of these samples in 23andMe format from the link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.